one thing I think that isn't is important when you're talking about building up your TikTok content from the point perspective of being a music artist, getting your fan base rather than you trying to be a TikTok influencer, that mm -hmm. you have a little bit more leeway to be random in your content because like there's there's content that you're making that's meant to go outside of your base and bring new people in. So it's probably like your freestyle videos. That's like your super creative videos and stuff, right? But then there's some content where you're, it's literally only meant to be entertaining to the people that, that care about you. So a talking head video, you talking about something I don't know, super personal. Like I, as a regular person who don't know you, may not care about that, right? Unless the story or, or experience is particularly interesting or funny or something. But I, as a fan of you, 100% care. So your freestyle video may get 50,000 views, whereas your talking head video may only get, you know, 5,000 views, but one is universally entertaining, the other isn't, you know? Um, right. So just kind of like keeping that in mind as you're, as you're building your audience out there and not getting super wrapped up in like, oh, uh, this video of me just talking about basketball only got, you know what I'm saying, 2,000 views. It's like, well, what was your what was your purpose there for it to spread outside your, 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 your channel and bring new people in? If so, then you got to reevaluate what about it wasn't universally appealing or something, or why didn't it? But if your point of it was just to like remind your fans that you care about sports, then, you know, mission accomplished. It, it, it reminds me really of like IG stories because I feel like when I do like talking head on stories, like people that actually fuck with me, like whether it be friends or like fans that go a long way, they love that. They're interactive, you know, they love that stuff. So it does make sense that if you post that, I never thought like taking, it's literally like just stories for, in essence, it could go viral, you know, because I've seen people get big videos off of just talking about some shit, telling a story about something that video goes viral. And it's like, man, no, TikTok is, is the is, is interesting because of that to me, you know, um, and as an artist, like you get that same benefit. Now, if you have interesting stories to tell, if you have, you know, other 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 shit that you could talk about. Yeah. You get a response out of people then go for well, it. Yeah, uh, Corey, I'm just getting started on like um basically trying to be a little bit more active on TikTok and Reels. Um, and so I, I've seen a lot of people kind of suggest like, you know, what's like the, I guess you like a template of like how many times you post. So I've seen people say like for like Reels, like Reels, TikTok is different, but we're thinking just IG. Reels, they'd be saying like trying to get five to six a week. And then along with like a feed post, you know, like an actual feed post, like at least two a week and then doing stories like five to 10 with something interactive in. Now, obviously I've been doing the stories thing and that's fine, but that's for people that's already following you, right? Um, have you experienced or do you, can you validate or confirm do you feel like that is an accurate type of uh, template to follow with getting started? Yeah, I mean, we usually tell- How do you feel about that? We, like, we'll, we usually tell people they, they try to get to at least, at least four a week, you know? Mm -hmm. Both of them. I mean, ideally, it's as, as much as you, as, you know, as much as you can. But yeah, I, I think like somewhere in the like four to six run a week is a good range to get started in. Um, because that's like consistent. Um, it's like it's still consistent, you know, and you're still putting out. Uh, uh, I mean, I look at six posts a week on reels, and you're still out putting, you know, putting out more content, probably like 80%. Of people. Right, right. Uh, right. You know, at least. Um, so it's still a lot to some people, but then you know that it is, but it's warming you up to where you can start to do a lot more, you know? Um, so mm -hmm. like that in my opinion, like if you're just getting started, that's what you should be more wor more worried about is keeping yourself consistent rather than right. trying to do like a high volume, a high volume output. So like four to six seems to be pretty manageable for people that are really Okay. So. Do you, okay, so I have two follow-up questions with that. If we're thinking, um, if, if I'm putting those out, right? Do you say like, okay, if you're putting out like four to six reels, like three of those need to be at least music based of some sort, right? Or do you think like the rest of them can kind of be, you know, whether it's your entertainment or, or you know, informative or whatever it is, right? Do, do you kind of have like a set, an idea of like what, or at least what would you recommend in that type of way? I know there may not be like an exact, like you need to do two of these, two of that, two of that. But do you, is there like at least a split that like, hey, a majority of this needs to be your music. The other bit can just be, whatever you need to do yeah i think that i mean i think it, it it ultimately comes down to how much of the where are you line is blurred with your other content right mm -hmm. if you're a music artist doing let's say prank videos 
you know, it can it can it can it can be easy for the prank videos to supersede your music videos that people think of you as a prank, a prank. A prank. Yeah. TikTok or YouTube rather than a music artist. So in that scenario, you would want to put out a high volume of music content to keep reminding people like, yo, you know, these prank videos and shit are cool, but I really do this music thing. Um, versus, you know, if 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 a majority of your audience already knows you as a music artist, and let's say that's the primary just thing. Me. That's me, yeah. You can kind of be a bit more focused on showing your personality and, and, and showing and showing other stuff. So um, that part is, is super flexible, you know. I think that part, like, it can't really be quantified it's just about, like, you know, right. what, your audience with you there. But um, I mean, I would say I don't think if we're talking about weekly, I don't think more than like fifty percent of your post should be music related, because then you can. It just I think you, you you can you run the risk of turning spammy, you know, what I'm saying really quickly, unless you're uh, you have like a new release or something like that, you know, or you have like this really unique way to keep it going you know let's say like you're not reposting a promo video you did you're, you're, you're duetting fan content or you know right. so you're doing like this live form. If, if it's like, like really creative ways to keep it going i think you can get away with more um but I honestly i also just personally i'm a big believer in that like a good majority of your content needs to be personality based and like just be showing parts of your personality because like you need right. to be equally as focused on getting out there as you are you know getting the music out there because you need the you, like even if the music only brings in a hundred new people, you want those hundred people to feel like they can get to know you as fast as possible, right? Exactly. So like, yeah, that's the most important part. I was talking to this artist the other day, and he had the same question. He's like, I don't, I don't have a story, you know. He's like, I'm just, I make music that I know people will like. Um, and I was looking at his Instagram page, and then he started talking a little bit more about his project. And he says, Well, I'm, I'm a hip hop artist, but I also play guitar, and I'm kind of trying to cross the two worlds and create this new sound. Um, and I'm like, first of all, that's a super, super cool narrative that you could push. You'd be a hip hop artist that plays the guitar. And I went to his Instagram page and his TikTok and his guitar isn't in any of his photos or videos. Um, so I was like, that's one thing alone that you could push in your content, you know, that people will attach to. Um, and that's not a story, you know, it's just something that he's, that is different, that makes him unique. Um, that he's passionate about. So I said, you know, start implementing more of your guitar and your, your content and like go, go post videos of you like crossing the two worlds between hip hop and, and rock on TikTok. Like you might just blow up because you're that hip hop guy that plays the guitar. Um, and that's not like some drastic life story. It's just um, something that people can connect to, you know? And as an artist, like there, there's two ways to blow up with or without money. Um, without money, like, you know, Biddle and Bird are having a lot of great luck on TikTok um, and they don't need to spend as much in ad dollars and stuff because they're getting traffic through these viral videos. But, you know, for an artist who, who might not have the capability of creating interesting narratives or storylines and stuff like that, that's where the ads come, in, come into play. If, you know, let's say you don't, you don't want to post two times a day on TikTok or whatever. You just can't catch or find a way to build a series of videos. Like, you know, Bird just explained his creativity and he's very good at that type of stuff. So is Biddle. But Levi, that might just not be you. Like, you might not be good at creating these story narratives, right? Um, but there are other avenues and ways to get your music out there, you know, outside of these viral videos. Like, for example, we have this, this client right now um, and they're not on TikTok, but they have their ad campaign that's going really well. Um, and his streams just are, are spiking crazy because he found this ad that's working for him. Um, and he, he doesn't care really to post on TikTok and he doesn't, he kind of lacks in like having a narrative and a strong brand, but you know, he's, has such a uh, powerful performing ad that kind of is just bringing in traffic for him. And he doesn't really have like a narrative or anything going for him. Like he's very talented, um, but it, like Biddle said, it's, it's not necessary. You know, if, if you find an audience that likes your music and then at the same time you just post interesting stuff, people are gonna connect to you.
Wow, what's up, it's Brand Man Sean, and if you got value from this video, we got a ton of value to offer you in brandmannetwork.com. It's completely free. The link is in the description if you wanna talk with us directly or some of the people in our community in between videos so you can ask questions specific to you or hop on one of the live sessions that you see on the channel when we're speaking with other artists. Brandmannetwork.com is the place to go. Hop into our app, it's really dope, and you get access to free courses as well but it might not be free forever. So hurry up and get in there before I change my mind.